Welcome back, Kitchen Warriors. Last time we explored the magical world of DIY projects that saved us from clutter catastrophes. Remember those fabulous shutters turned shelves and the oh-so-handy fold-out drying rack? Well, today we're diving into the second half of our small kitchen saga, where we'll tackle even more clutter-busting creations. Prepare to laugh, learn, and triumph over your tiny kitchen. First up, we have the Barn Door Coffee Bar Project. Say goodbye to caffeine-fueled fumbling on overcrowded countertops. With this nifty addition, you'll be brewing lattes like a pro barista in no time. Next, let's talk about plastic-free kitchen pantries. We'll show you a clever idea to turn your pantry into an eco-friendly haven. No more wrestling with stubborn plastic wrap or crying over spilled chia seeds. And for the grand finale, we've got three jaw-dropping surprises up our sleeves. Trust us, you won't want to miss these life-changing revelations. Your kitchen will never be the same again. So buckle up and join us for the final leg of our small kitchen escapade. Together, we'll laugh our way through the chaos and embrace the joy of organized cooking spaces. Remember, Simp Home is always here to bring you the ideas and humor that make life just a bit more fun. A DIY Barn Door Coffee Bar Center Idea Welcome back, space-starved kitchen enthusiasts. Today, we're diving headfirst into a world where your coffee bar dreams meet rustic chic charm. Yes, we're talking about the fabled barn door coffee bar because nothing says caffeine in cowboy boots like this showstopper. I've seen countless DIY coffee bars, but this one has a unique twist, sliding barn doors. So let's drool over this masterpiece that combines the best of Java and the Wild West. But first, a special thanks to our friends at Ryabi Nation for providing the step-by-step -step tutorial. Now let's talk about the Pays de Resistance, the metallic barn door hardware. You know what they say, if you can't find it, DIY it. So with a little Rust-Oleum magic, we've got copper pipes and door pulls so shiny you'll be blinded by your own brilliance. But wait, there's more. Hidden storage is every small kitchen owner's dream, and this DIY barn door coffee bar doesn't disappoint. Behind those rustic doors lies a treasure trove of coffee supplies, just waiting to make your mornings a little more buzzworthy. So whether you're a fan of hidden storage or just love a good cowboy, Boy coffee pun, this DIY barn door coffee bar is the perfect blend of whimsy and practicality. Giddy up, caffeine cowboys. Your tiny kitchen is about to get a whole lot more interesting. How to build your own apothecary cabinet idea. Welcome to the land of cramped kitchens, where finding space for your essentials is like looking for a needle in a haystack. But fret not, dear friends, for we've concocted the perfect remedy, a DIY apothecary cabinet, ideal for narrow spaces and a spoonful of laughter. Ready to cure your clutter woes? First, measure the height, depth, and length of your designated cabinet spot with surgical precision. The right diagnosis is essential for a successful treatment after all. Next, unleash your inner Picasso and saw those planks into perfect pieces. Remember, art is a journey, but a visit to your nearest Praxis DIY store can provide you with cut-to-size wood if needed. Now it's time to flex those assembly muscles. Align the front and back of the cabinet, placing shelves in between. Mark the heights, drill holes for the sticks, and pre-drill holes for the shelves. Feeling really good about your progress? Attach the wheels to the bottom, drill holes for the handle, and glue the front panel to the cabinet. Just be careful not to let the screws play peekaboo through the front panel. Congratulations, your DIY apothecary cabinet is complete, a marvel of kitchen organization and a testament to your craftsmanship. Enjoy the fruits of your labor, and remember, laughter is the best medicine, but a clutter-free kitchen is a close second. The Plastic-Free Pantry Idea 
Greetings, kitchen connoisseurs. Today, we're on a mission to transform your pantry into an eco-friendly, plastic-free paradise. Get ready to laugh, learn, and liven up your cooking space with our fantastic guide to going green. Number one, pantry makeover time. Start by giving your pantry a much-needed overhaul. Empty those shelves and transfer packet contents into glass jars. It'll help you see the forest for the trees or the quinoa for the rice. And keep your food fresher and longer. Number two, shop till you drop. Plastic. Visit your local bulk food store and stock up on essentials like oats, quinoa, almonds, and spices. Take reusable brown paper bags to keep things eco-friendly and stylish. Number three, label or lose it. Organize your jars and label them with a permanent marker. Trust us, you don't want to spice up your life with an accidental cayenne maca mix-up. Number four, DIY Rack Attack. Create a freestanding rack to display your jars. This can be as simple as a wooden crate setup or as fancy as a custom-made jar rack. Just remember there's no shelving this project. Let your Pinterest dreams run wild. Number five, organize and conquer. Arrange your jars by categories like grains, cereals, nuts, and spices, turning your pantry into an eco-friendly work of art. Congrats, you've successfully decluttered and transformed your pantry into a plastic-free wonderland. Now go forth and create culinary masterpieces, knowing that you're doing your part to make the world a greener place. Share your new pantry with us and don't forget to let us in on your favorite whole food recipes. We're all ears, or should we say, all grains? A sliding barn door idea for a more seamless kitchen pantry feature. Welcome folks to the world of kitchen makeovers, where creativity collides with budget concerns and sometimes Hulk-like husbands. Today we present you with a seamless sliding barn door idea for your pantry. Our heroic couple, Chris and Julie, embark on a quest to find the perfect barn door for their pantry. Julie's eyes glisten at the thought of antique barn wood, but her dreams are shattered when they discover it costs eight bucks per linear foot. Ouch. And her reclaimed cedar planks, a more budget-friendly option at a buck a foot. Chris is known for his disdain for doors and faced a laundry room door that was just absurd. With 25% of the door consumed by the door's swing, it was time for a change. And so the challenge begins. Can Chris transform these planks into the barn door of Julie's dreams? Here are your step-by-step -step instructions. Number one, material gathering. Hunt down reclaimed cedar planks or any suitable alternative and prepare for battle. Number two, carefully measure the dimensions of your doorway and cut the planks to fit the space. Number three, assemble the door. Nail the planks together, creating a rustic barn door look. Number four, purchase or DIY a sliding barn door track and hardware system. Number five, hang your new barn door and relish in the glory of your handiwork. In the end, Chris proves that crafting a barn door isn't as challenging as it seems. Now go forth and tackle your own DIY challenges, and may the odds ever be in your favor. The Fruit Basket Frenzy, a quirky DIY solution for small kitchen storage. So, are you tired of your fruit sitting on your counter like lazy roommates? Then join us on a hilarious journey to transform your kitchen with a wall-mounted fruit basket that's as practical as it is original. Say goodbye to clutter and hello to fresh produce like our old Cape ancestors. Step-by-step -step instructions. Number one, cut and conquer. Take two meter boards and cut them like a pro chef slices through veggies. Chop, chop. Number two. A meeting of the boards. Place the boards side by side like long lost relatives at a family reunion. Use the scraps to secure the ends with 4 by 40 millimeter screws, making it a bond that'll last a lifetime. Number three, smooth moves. Time to sand the boards, making them smoother than a jazz saxophone solo. 
Cue the sanding sheets. Number 4. Hook them up. Starting at the bottom, place hooks every 35 centimeters. Space them horizontally by 12 centimeters as if they were gossiping neighbors over a backyard fence. Make sure they're all facing upwards, ready to embrace the baskets with open arms. Number 5. The Grand Finale Hang the baskets, making sure they're snug as a bug in a rug. Secure the boards to the wall with dowels and screws, ensuring your masterpiece won't come crashing down like a fruit avalanche. And there you have it, a hilarious, fruitful adventure that proves a little creativity and humor can conquer kitchen organization. Embrace your inner DIY guru and let those fruits hang out in style. Well, that's it for now. Before you leave this presentation, we'd like to appreciate every second you spend watching this video. If we deserve more of your attention in the future, press the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Like the video if you believe it'll motivate the YouTube algorithm to push the video to more people. Honestly, though, it is more like a myth to us, so feel free to move on with your plan after the video ends. Lastly, we hope you have great luck with your health and project, and we'll see you again soon.